Hello and welcome to the campsite at Aventoya und Alrad, the largest off-road trade fair in the world. And this here is just one of several campsites and it, what it does, it will give you an idea of what can be seen here. And this is now, it's nine o'clock in the morning. It's the Friday, so there's a four day event at the top, that's uh, to say where the exhibition takes place. But uh, down here below, this actually starts getting together a little bit earlier. So uh, in, some people could end up being here for maybe even a week. So it gives an idea of some wonderful off-road vehicles which can be seen here and I'm rather embarrassed that my vehicle is so boring by comparison. Now one of the things we can see, things like this, lots of stuff from the military for example, uh, companies in some cases which have been taken over by others or don't appear to exist any longer. Yeah, Magiras Deutz. Um, well, don't see many of them around, but look at this, the way that vehicle looks. A great box there at the back uh, with a crawl through from the front. No idea how old that one is. And there's plenty more like that because this is the place where they all come together. <clears throat> uh, the Tiger Expedition is a, a company which sells um, parts, a bit like, it's, it's, it's like a Raymo. Uh, um, for off-road stuff. I mean, it's not all sort of old stuff here. There's some pretty new stuff, such as this thing here, which appears to me to be pretty new. Anyway, could be completely wrong on that one. Uh, well, this, I can, I can tell from this VW that it's from the mid-1980s. Doesn't look as though, it looks, it looks as though it came off the production line a couple of years ago but that's a T3. Oh, and this one as well. Oh, wow. Now, look, again, that, that thing there is getting on for 40 years old. Wonderful looking vehicle. And, uh, no, I know I've, I've had a go at people who live in car, uh, cars which have been turned into campus, but you see, it does work for some people. It's a great looking thing there. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take you around just this one uh, small campsite, because, but there are lots and lots and lots around. But, uh, this is to give an idea of what you can actually see here. Now, down here, we've also got this rather uh, unusual looking Iveco there at the back. I like the way they've done the wood laminate on, on the rear. Oh, there's a Unimog from the military. And yesterday I learned what Unimog stands for. Universal Motor... Yeah, let me... Universal Motor... Universal Motorized Gerate. I can't remember now, I've forgotten. Anyway, it's all it's all it's all it's almost there. You can see one going driving off the Toyota. And actually I think here, because I got early, so this is one of the best places to be, because the the entrance is just here. And for the should I be so inclined up that we've got Aldi there and Neto is at the other side as well. All right, we'll, we'll have a look at that one a bit later. That campsite. So we've got the, the bread sold here. I don't actually eat bread myself, but if I wanted this, because I am parked just, be, just, in, just in here. So when you're first in, last out, you get the you get the advantage of such places to stay. Now 
now I'm going to ask my friend who owns this one here, we'll get a tour of it a bit later and uh, so this is a 1985 Swiss Army truck on the top we've got a Belgian uh, in fact Army unit NBC nuclear biological chemical don't call it NBC call it something else now and uh, that uh, oh, that wonderful uh, uh, setup Oh, this one here, here what? For sale. And if I remember rightly, it is from 1965. No. It's from? from 1978. Oh, sorry, 78. But even so, it's for sale as can be seen, and we'll have a look at it a bit later. That's right. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a look at it. <laughs> and uh, right. now, a number of people got these uh, fire service things. This, this thing here comes from. I mean, not mainly from Germany, but this is from Switzerland. There you go. Service du Feu, 1985. Corin Boeuf, Chez which, if I remember rightly, is in the Geneva area. And mind you, here's, here's something I'd rather. I like that. I like this Heimer here. All oh, right, so we've got, we've got toilets down there, showers. There's an entertainment area here, which I was a bit concerned about making a racket at night. And. Um, and uh, anyway, it doesn't. So uh, there you are. Oh, and there's one. Here's, here's, here's a Unimog making a departure. So that's the sort of thing I normally video. Oh. And people uh, here from all over Europe. So, uh, um, well, there's me, uh, Romanian people, there's people from Italy, from Spain, from France, from Switzerland. And. Oh, you know, another Unimog. And there's my van. And uh, the, uh, there's Buro uh, Oman, which you can see have done several um, room tours of this vehicle. Really, uh, it's been one, I think it's the most popular uh, pickup on my pickup camper on my site, I think. <laughs> Benny Mar 263. See quite a lot of them on the road, but not many at a 4x4 event. And uh, I see some of these Land Rover, well, that's, that's, too, that's not that old, and, and it is available for purchase. But uh, some of the things that are exactly the same models as uh, when I was in the army. And here's another a van, a motorhome liner for sale. It's a Concorde. And what I'm going to do here is the owner's not here, so I can't actually ask. But I will uh, point out there you go Concorde Charisma 750C for sale. It is 22 years old, but at 45,000 euros, I don't know what condition it's in. Uh, it's a second owner from 2013. So, but there you go, 152,000 on the clock. Uh, quite similar to mine, actually. Only mine's worth more 4,500 than 45,000. So, if you fancy coming to this in well, future years, but by the time I get this up on the internet, it's going to be too late. Uh, but this is the place to be for off-road. Absolutely no questions about it. And right, I don't know how many car, car, 
uh, camping spaces like this there are, I think it might be seven. And so that's just one of seven. You see we're all quite close together, but uh, in a campsite you probably wouldn't want to be this close together. But there's a shortage of space at a place like this. But I think it just adds to the atmosphere of what is happening here. And look, a wonderful uh, summer weather here in Bad Kissingen. And the event is actually held uh, up the top there, but even further, from a military area. And this has now been on the go, I think it's 24 years. Great, so, thanks for watching. I hope you found that interesting. And uh, a little tour around the campsite. Uh, because this is real life, real camping, real, not, not sort of stuff I normally film in exhibitions, but the real thing. Thanks for being here.